Hi everyone, welcome to Unstop Mathematical Solution. Today we are going to solve CSIR Net Mathematics December 2011 question paper. In this video, we have only dealt with the abstract algebra part. First question, question 29. Let P be a prime number, the order of a P silo subgroup of the group GL50 FP of invertible 50 cross 50 matrices with entries from the finite field FP equal to. So in the group GL50 of FP, we have to find the order of the P silo subgroup. So we'll see the concepts used. So the order of a P silo subgroup of the group gln fp is given by p power n into n minus 1 by 2 so here they have asked the order of the p silo subgroup of the group gl50 of fp so when we substitute 50 for n we will get p power 50 into 49 by 2 so its value is p power 1225 so we will check the correct option now so the correct option is fourth one Next question, question 36. For which of the following primes P does the polynomial x power 4 plus x plus 6 have a root of multiplicity greater than 1 over a field of characteristic P? So we have to find which of the following primes this polynomial have a repeated root. So first of all we look into the concept. Polynomial over a field has a root with multiplicity greater than 1 if and only if this is also a root of its derivative. So now we'll move on to the question. So they are given a polynomial. So I'm taking it as f of x equal to x power 4 plus x plus 6. We have to check the roots of this polynomial is also a root of its derivative. So I'm taking its derivative. We got f dash of x is equal to 4x cube plus 1. So now we'll uh, check on to the options. So they have given uh, first option as a field of characteristic p is equal to 2. So I am taking uh, an example as Z2 because we know ZP is a field of characteristic P. So Z2 means it's a field of characteristic 2. So Z2 has elements 0 and 1. I am checking which of them are roots of the polynomial f of x. So I am finding f of 0. So replace x by 0. We will get 6. Take mod 2. We are getting it is equal to 0. So 0 is the root of this polynomial f of x. So I am checking whether 0 is the root of whether it is the root of f dash of x so I am replacing here by 0 so f dash of 0 I am getting it as 1 therefore 0 is not a root of this polynomial f dash of x therefore 0 is a root with multiplicity equal to 1 similarly find it for the so 1 for the element 1 so f of 1 we got as 8 8 mod 2 is 0 so 1 is a root of the polynomial f of x so check it for f dash of x so f dash of 1 i am getting 5 5 mod 2 is 1 therefore 1 is also not a root of f dash of x therefore 1 is a root with multiplicity equal to 1 so this case does not arise so next option is like field of characteristic p is equal to 3 i am taking z3 and z3 has elements 0 1 2 check which of them uh, forms a solution for f of x so we found that 0 and uh, 2 are solutions so check it for f dash of x so when we check only 2 is becoming the solution of f dash of x so 2 is a root with multiplicity greater than 1 so we got 2 as a repeated root for f of x so you, you guys can uh, check it for the options uh, 3 and 4 and you will only get uh, root with multiplicity 1. So the option 2 is only the correct one. Next question, question 37. The number of group homomorphism from S3 to Z by 6 Z. So we have to find how many homomorphism can be mapped from S3 to Z by 6 Z. So we will use look into the concepts used. So the number of group homomorphism from SM to ZN is equal to 1 if N is odd and 2 if N is even. And Z by NZ is isomorphic to ZN. So they have asked here the number of group homomorphism from S3 to Z by 6 Z. You know Z by 6 Z is isomorphic to Z6. So therefore we have to find number of group homomorphism from S3 to Z6 which is equal to 2 because 6 is even. So now we'll check the correct options. So the correct option is fourth one. 
Next question, question 38. The number of multiples of 10 power 4 that divides 10 power 55. So we have to find how many multiples of uh, 10 power 4 divides 10 power 55. So first of all, we will look into the concepts used. If n is equal to n1 power alpha 1, n2 power alpha 2, etc. up to nk power alpha k, then the number of divisor is given by tau of n is equal to alpha 1 plus 1, alpha 2 plus 1, etc. up to alpha k plus 1. So now we'll move on to the question. So they have asked number of multiples of 10 power 4 that divides 10 power 55. So we know any multiple of 10 power 44 can be written in the form n into 10 power 44 where n is a integer. So we want number of multiples that divides 10 power 55. So that is n into 10 power 44 divides 10 power 55 so when we simplify this we it is equivalent to n divides 10 power 11 so that is number of integers that divides 10 power 11 so all we need to count is the number of divisors of 10 power 11 and we know that 10 power 11 can be written as 2 power 11 into 5 power 11 therefore we use this concept number of divisors of 10 power 11 is given by tau of 10 power 11 which is equal to 11 plus 1 into 11 plus 1 that is equal to 12 into 12 that is equal to 144 so we will check the correct options so the correct option is 4 to 1 next question question 84 let g be the galois group of splitting field of x power 5 minus 2 over q then which of the following are true so we have given a group here which is defined by this then we have to find which of the following is satisfied by that group so we will look into the concepts used galois group of splitting field of x bar p minus 2 over q is a cyclic group of order p into p minus 1 and have an element of order p minus 1 and we know that cyclic group implies abelian so now we'll move on to the question. So G is given to be the Galois group of splitting field of x power 5 minus 2 over Q. Therefore, G is a cyclic group of order 5 into 5 minus 1 that is equal to 20. And G have an element of order 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4. And G is cyclic implies G is abelian. So we have got, it this, got this from the concept. So we will check the correct options. So the correct options are 1, 3, 4. Next question, question 85. Let instead of i denote the ring of Gaussian integers for which of the following value of n is a Gaussian ring instead of i by n instead of i is an integral domain. So we have to find for which of the following options the Gaussian ring becomes an integral domain. So we look into the concepts used. Instead of i by n instead of i is isomorphic to instead n of i. n instead n of i is field if and only if n is prime and uh, every field is an integral domain so we look on to the question so all the given options are prime numbers so for all these values of n the quotient ring is an n of i is an field so every field is an integral domain therefore quotient ring is set of i by n instead of i is an integral domain for all values so we'll check the correct options so the correct options are 1 2 3 and 4 Next question, question 86. Which of the following integral domain are Euclidean domains? So we have to check which of the options forms an Euclidean domain. So first of all, we'll look into the concepts used. Euclidean domain implies principal ideal domain implies UFT. So if a uh, ring is not a UFT, then it cannot be an Euclidean, Euclidean domain. If it is not a PID, then it is not an ED. So PID means a principal ideal domain that is an integral domain with unity in which every ideal is generated by a single element on ufd unique factorization domain states if r is an integral domain is a ufd if a element of r and a is a non-zero and non-unit element such that a is equal to p1 p2 etc up to pn where pi's are irreducible and also a is equal to q1 q2 etc up to qm where qi's are irreducible then a m should be equal to m and pi is associated to some qi that is a is associative b means a should divide b or b should divide a 
and maximal ideals in instead of x are of the form ideals generated by p comma f of x where p is a prime in instead and f of x is an irreducible polynomial in instead and instead of x by ideal generated by p comma f of x is isomorphic to instead p and is that p is field if and only if p is prime and f is a field implies f of x is an euclidean domain so now we'll check the options one by one so first option is instead of square root of minus root 3 but this is not a ufd so it cannot be an euclidean domain because if you know that 1 plus square root of minus 3 into 1 minus square root of minus 3 is equal to 4 and 4 can also be written as 2 into 2 but 2 doesn't divide 1 plus root 3 or 1 plus root 3 doesn't divide 2 so it doesn't satisfy the properties of uft so it is not a uft therefore instead of square root of minus root 3 is not a ud but the concept one and second option is instead of x and instead of x is not pid therefore it is not an ed because if we note that the ideal generated by 2x is not a principal ideal suppose if i take uh, 2x to be a principal ideal then it will be generated by a single element so i am taking it as f so ideal generated by 2 comma x is equal to ideal generated by f then it should imply f divides 2 and f divides x from this we will get f is equal to plus or minus 1 but we took f to be a single element it is a contradiction therefore it cannot be a principal ideal so third option is in r of x square x cube we can write x plus 6 as x square whole cube or x cube whole square so it is not a uft therefore it is not a euclidean domain the last option instead of x by ideal generated by 2 of x is isomorphic to z2 by this concept and z2 is a field because 2 is a prime number and f is a field implies f of x is in euclidean domain therefore z2 is a field hence z2 of y is euclidean domain so we will check the correct options so the correct option is only the fourth one next question question 87 for which of the following values of n does the finite field f phi power n with phi power n elements contain a non-trivial 93rd root of unity so we have to find for which of the following options this field contains this non-trivial 93rd root of unity so now we'll check how to do this question so non-trivial 93rd root of unity means it is an element of multiplicative order 93 and also excluding the elements of multiplicative orders th 3 and 31 because we, we need non-trivial 93rd root of unity. So if we take x per 93 equal to 1, we can split x per 93 as x cube into x per 31 equal to 1. That's why we are removing those orders. And uh, if I take non-trivial 93rd root of unity as psi, psi is essentially an element of multiplicative group of the finite field. So psi is an element of phi star of phi per n. For this to happen, we know that order of uh, an element divides the order of the group. So order of psi divides order of f star of phi per n. So here there is a mistake. It is f star of phi per n. And we know order of psi is 93. And order of f per phi per phi per n is phi per n minus 1 so 93 should divide phi per n minus 1 for uh, psi to be element of phi star phi per n so this is equivalent to phi n is equivalent to 1 mod 93 and this is happening for the smallest value for which n is equal to the smallest value for which this equation becomes true is, is n is equal to 6 so phi per n minus 1 is divisible by 93 if and only if n is a multiple of 6. So now we'll check the correct options. So f phi per n contains non-trivial 93rd root of unity if and only if n is a multiple of 6. So the correct options are 2 and 4. Next question 88. Which of the following numbers can be the orders of permutation sigma of 11 symbols such that sigma doesn't fix any symbol? So we have to find which of the following option can be order of the permutation such that the permutation doesn't map the element to itself. So we'll check the concepts used. So if m is equal to LCM of m1, comma m2 and there's some m1 plus m2 is equal to n then permutations of order m m doesn't fix any symbols of n 
so we will check the options one by one so they are given first order to be 18 so i am 18 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 and 18 is the lcm of 2 comma 9 and 2 plus 9 is equal to 11 so this uh, permutation of order 18 does not fix any symbol now order 30 30 can be written as 2 into 3 into 5 and 30 is equal to lcm of 6 comma 5 and their sum 6 plus 5 is equal to 11 therefore this also doesn't fix any symbol order is equal to 15 and 15 is equal to 3 into 5 and 15 is equal to lcm of 3 comma 5 but 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 so this permutation fix some symbols so this cannot be true order is equal to 28 28 can be written as 2 into 2 into 7 and it 28 it is equal to sorry there is a mistake this is 28 is equal to lcm of 4 comma 7 and their sum 4 plus 7 is equal to 11 therefore the permutation of order 28 uh, doesn't fix any symbol so we'll check the correct options so the correct options are 1 2 and 4